G'day everyone and welcome back to our paranormal world. In this video, I wanted to bring you the footage of the haunted Mr. Fritz World War II ventriloquist doll. In October 2019, the story of Mr. Fritz went viral, with coverage from news outlets and many paranormal websites and YouTube videos. Mr. Fritz is a ventriloquist doll head, owned by Michael Diamond, a collector in his late 40s from Liverpool in the UK. The story of Mr. Fritz is a tragic one. He was made by a prisoner of war in Stalag 2B in Poland during World War II. Many US POWs were held in this camp and as anyone can imagine, life wasn't a whole lot of fun with meagre rations, hard labour and the constant threat of violence or execution. One of the prisoners, Billy Booth, had been a children's entertainer before the war and he had made Mr Fritz himself from German newspapers and potato starch as well as paint smuggled in by a Polish farmer. For about 18 months, Billy Booth and Mr Fritz would regularly entertain the prisoners with jokes, stories and songs and even some of the German guards found the shows amusing and came along to watch. But unfortunately, mere weeks before the camp was liberated in 1945, Billy and nine other prisoners were walked to a nearby field and made to dig a trench, where they were subsequently executed for not working hard enough. When the camp was liberated, Mr Fritz was taken back to the US by a fellow prisoner and given to the Booth family as a reminder of Billy's courage and camaraderie in raising the morale of the prisoners who were all enduring the horrendous conditions in the camp. Later, Mr Fritz was found in an antique mall and, later still, gifted to Michael Diamond by a military collector. Michael himself says he supposes many people find ventriloquist dolls to be creepy and Mr Fritz is no exception. Michael also supposes that perhaps it is the strange antics of Mr Fritz which prompted his previous owners to part with him. He says not long after Mr Fritz came into his possession, he would notice the door to his case open occasionally, which he of course found odd, having seen it shut the night before. After a couple of occasions of this happening, he set up a camera to see what was going on. Here's the footage that was released of Mr. Fritz in his case.
Okay, so now you've seen the Mr. Fritz footage and heard the tale of his creation, it is fairly easy to accept that probably the spirit of Billy Booth, executed horribly in World War II, may have attached to the doll he so lovingly created in that harsh environment. Michael Diamond says, Mr. Fritz's case is now kept chained shut and with a blanket covering him up. However, many people insist the footage is easily faked with remote magnets and even fishing line to open the case. And it is important to be skeptical because skeptics don't ruin our understanding of the paranormal, but hoaxes certainly do. So I did a little bit of digging into this story, starting with Michael Diamond himself. In the news articles that I found, it states he is an alternative performer. But on his own website, he refers to himself as a magician and an illusionist, who is available for kids' parties, by the way, and I'm guessing he doesn't take Mr. Fritz along. But, of course, when we know that one fact about Michael Diamond, the reasonable story of Mr. Fritz loses a fair bit of weight. I mean, if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. Obviously, it is still possible that Mr. Fritz is the real deal, despite his current owner's occupation. So the next logical step is to check the story. Unfortunately, there is no record of a Billy Booth or anyone by the name of Booth, which I could find in the publicly available records, ever being held at or working at Stalag 2B during World War II. So we have to ask ourselves, what could motivate someone to lie about such a thing? What does he stand to gain from the viral publicity around this video? Well, I guess that's pretty obvious. Publicity. Even if this video is exposed as a fake, Michael's reputation as a magician isn't terribly damaged, is it? In fact, it is probably the exact opposite. His reputation is bolstered by being able to produce a fake which amazed the world. So, is the Mr. Fritz footage fake? In reality, we have to say it probably is. And while that is a bit of a bummer with such a compelling backstory and a super cool video, without Mr. Fritz being inspected by independent sources and found to be free of any trickery, we really have to put this in the highly suspicious basket. Oh, and incidentally, I think it's a little bit odd, maybe even a little bit sick, to have those swastikas on Mr. Fritz's nameplate. If Billy Booth was a real person, I'd imagine he'd not like that at all. Sorry to be a massive bummer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell icon and set notifications to all so you can stay up to date with all the latest paranormal content on this channel. I'll see you next time.